அதாவது அறிவனது ஒரு சூப்பர் கோதம் ஸ்ரீ அவங்க but it's pretty high up there it scales on noel's defense it has pretty good scaling is a geo shield so absorbs all types of damage 150% more effectively which if your peanut brain is unable to understand means that whatever number you can get from this talent scaling right here just multiply it by 1.5 and that's your actual shield damage absorption limit the shield lasts 12 seconds and has a long 24 second cooldown which makes noel terrible as a shield support in your team Additionally, while the shield is active, your Noel's normal charge attack hits enemies. You have 50% chance of healing based on your defense. And this is party-wide healing. It is actually very damn strong healing, but it's limited by the 50-50 RNG. And let's be real, as Genshin players, we are horrendous at winning 50-50s. <laughs> Luckily, you can increase the chance of triggering the heal to 59% by leveling the skill talent. So it's now 59-41. Yeah, on to her elemental burst. The Excalibur, I mean the sweeping time. Multiple things happen when you activate it. Firstly, you get additional attack based on your defense. This conversion takes place at the time of casting, remember that. Because it means that any defense increase after casting sweeping time will not yield any additional attack. Secondly, Noel gains Geo Infusion, that cannot be overridden. And lastly, your normal attack suddenly have a comically humongous AoE. You can hit enemies in Narnia with that big of an AoE. It's not even good and practical, but it's also funny as shit. And this alone makes Noel worth building. Holy shit. Now our Ascension passive activates only when Noel is off field and is more of a support passive, which is weird because Noel is not suitable for a support role. Anyways, when a party member except Noel has their HP fallen below 30%, then they will get a shield for 20 seconds. Now this shield's scaling is fixed at 400% of Noel's defense, which if you are unable to understand, I will put it in simpler terms. This shield is massively goddamn thick. Of course, this is also a geo shield, so you get, yeah, the same 150% damage absorption bullshit. This passive has a 60 second cooldown, because I mean if it didn't, this game would never need a shielder ever again. Now this passive... Is counter intent to if counter to turn to uh, let me check up the spelling now this passive is counter intuitive to Noel's playstyle but it is still somewhat useful if you are still in the early game then this is super useful you know the time when you are like new under leveled no characters no powers no artifacts your party falls on life support every time you go and fight Devalon or Andreas so this can really help you survive and as you get used to the game, right? Not speaking from personal experience. Her Ascension 4 passive is a good one. It reaches the cooldown of your elemental skill by one second for every four hits Noel scores on opponents with a normal charge attacks. This has a restriction of one hit will be counted every 0.1 seconds. So you cannot just hit four enemies in AoE and get a one second shoved off your skill cooldown. It's a nice passive and makes the shield up time a lot better though. For talent upgrade a priority, you want to level all the talents, but the normal attacks are the most important because they are the majority of your damage. But you also want to level your burst because that increases the amount of attack you get from your defense and it does affect how you want to build your Noel. Her shield is lowest priority, but it's still a nice enough talent to be leveled a bit. Don't just leave it hanging there like a sidle kid fed up with his life. <laughs> Okay, no, no, no. My bad guys, that was a very dark joke. It's not cool, I should not have said that. But yeah, don't leave your skill at level level 1. Let's move on to the part that the guys with the C69 Noels after the phase 1 barons might want to skip, which is, if you can tell, 
constellations. Her Sivan, this used to be her worst constellation because yeah, extra healing, but who needs it when your shield is thicker shit and then you're building your Noel with defense as well, which makes the incoming damage lower and makes the shield effectively even more thick and it is already on. on. I, I, I lost my train of thought, but you got the point, right? However, now that fully nice in the game, I dare say this is her second best constellation. It passively speeds up the generation of fanfare. Her C2, it's nice, and it will affect how you wanna play your Noel. More about that in the combos and playstyle section later. Her C3 is more level to a scale, cool stuff, more healing, better shield. Her C4, it is nothing too crazy, but it is nice, it is a pretty good nuke, making your shield explode, and it also makes it so that now your skill deals damage twice. So you can actually use Sacrificial on Noel better than before. I don't recommend it, but you can do it. Her C5, burst levels, pretty useful, more defense to attack conversion ratio. Her C6, POC jump constellation, puts the attack bonus from your burst on steroids, increases the burst duration by 1 second every time you defeat an enemy up to 10 seconds, and you can also, so you can basically extend your burst up to 25 seconds, which is pretty damn long, because it only has a 15 second cooldown, and funny thing, there's something called hit lag in the game, which means the real duration will be even more. And that's not all, that duration extension takes effect when anybody in your party defeats an enemy, unlike the Black Cliff Evans passive. Black things are always bad. Excellent! It is mankind's epitome of quality. And speed, I don't know. Now let's talk about Noel's weapons. I probably do not need to say this, but like Red Horn is the highest damage option. It just synergizes so well with Noel, mainly because it is Ito's signature, who is a Noel ripoff, honestly. Yeah, I said it. That's just the Noel you get from Walmart. Anyways, other 5 stars can be useful just because of their stats. This includes the Bacon and the Skyward Pride. The not that great 5 stars are Wolf's Grey Stone and Forge and Song of Rogue and Pines. They just lack any synergy with Noel and do not have crit stats either. The Skyward Pride on the other hand is unironically a fine option because you can use that ER, it's not a waste, and Noel can use the passive pretty well. Verdict is also a fine option, not too good, but it does give some crit and increases the C4 new damage because that is your skill damage. Now onto the 4 stars, the Serpent Spine is the best option obviously, just like for every other Claymore user. Serpent Spine sits right behind Red in terms of damage and because Noel has a thick shield, it is pretty easy to maintain your stacks as well. The free to play craftical. White Blind and Tidal Shadow are both very good options as well, generally about as good as the Skyward Pride because they both give you a shit ton of stats and are also the reason why the Wolf's Grace on and Unforge are not that great because these 4 stars also give you competitive stats while being a lot more accessible because they are literally free to craft. And then we have my personal favorite weapon option, which is the Fabonius. Now yes, it does not have any offensive stat, it is mostly a support weapon, but hear me out. The energy recharge is so goddamn good, you don't have to swap in between to battery Noel anymore. She generates a lot of energy by herself which also helps the rest of your team and because her main source of attack is the defense to attack bonus on her burst, the low base attack doesn't even matter as much, you'll still easily land in the 3000-4000 attack ballpark and honestly you can clear stuff just fine with the damage of the fab because I do regularly and mine is like level 70 by 70, never had an issue. 10 by 10 would recommend. And no, this is not a Fogonius propaganda. Next up, artifacts. Using her with Furina? Use Mara Chasse. Not using her with Furina? Go Husk of Opulent Dreams. Those two are the best artifacts for their respective situations. If you do not have Husk, it's fine. You do not have to sink your resin in that domain. Gladiators is also about almost as good if you are normal attacking, mainly because you get a lot more of it over your normal playthrough, so it is very likely you will have better substats on it. You can also use Retracing Bolide, which is about the same thing as Gladiators, just slightly worse, but it has the flexibility of letting you use your charge attacks, so that's cool. The Navia said, uh, Nighttime Echo or some shit, uh, why do they make artifact names so long sometimes? Anyway, so that set is also good enough if you have access to crystallized in, in the team. The uptime is not the best, but it is a fine option nonetheless. I would not recommend it, farming for it, because it is a very niche domain. If you are using Noel on a driver, then 
Alkic Petra can be worth it. Finally, you can use two PCR, attack percent, defense percent, geo damage bonus combinations until you can get a full piece set. My recommendation is if you want Husk for your Noel, save up your artifact, strongbox on a day when you feel lucky, the domain is not worth your resin. Now for the artifact stats. First up, Noel does not generate energy, but good thing is you want a player in triple or mono geo teams anyway, so it is somewhat alleviated. The exact year requirements depends on your team, but I'd say with a decent battering, 130 to 140 is good enough. You can get away with less depending upon your team or how well you are battering your Noel. Or you can do what all Xiaomi's do. Screw the ER, build so much damage that you can one or two rotate everything, at which point spending a few seconds extra to collect energy is no big deal for you. However, if you are a more sensible player or you are playing a solo Geo, fab. Yeah, fab. Nothing else will feel good enough, I promise you. Fab. Yeah, fab. Now, get Geo Damage Bonus Goblet, Crit Rate Circlet or Crit Damage Circlet, depends upon whichever you need. And now the trickier part is the sense. If your Noel is at least level 80 by 90 with a level 10 burst talent before C6, then your def to attack conversion ratio is good enough that defense percent sands is better than attack percent. And for C6, talent level 6 is the threshold for defense percent being better than attack percent. Now this is not just for your sands but for your substats in general. So if you are someone who finds attack percent signs to be better, then your attack percent substats are also better than your defense percent substats. That said, you wanna prioritize ER and crit over both of those regardless because Noel ends up getting a shit ton of attack nonetheless. On to the combos and play style. So, you can play Noel as a driver, as a carry, or as a support. Support Noel is bad. It is fine for early game, like I previously mentioned, because it helps you to not die. But otherwise, usable is the best way to describe it. It's not really particularly great. As a driver, you want to give Noel fair, preferably. And if the team you are driving cares about the shield, so if you are not that great at dodging, or the team cares about the healing, so like a Furina Mono Hydro team, or a Furina Taser team, build full defense. Because if I'm being real with you, without buffs and stuff, the damage you do with Fav as a driver is not good enough to justify sacrificing the utility by not building full defense. For other types of teams, feel free to continue with the usual Geo damage and crit belt because how much you heal does not matter anyways. The playstyle that I would recommend though is playing Noel as a carry because that's where the juice is, that's where the juicy stuff is, that's when Noel will shine the most. Anyways, let's talk about the combos. There are mainly three types of combos you're gonna wanna do on Noel. First is normal attack combos, then the charge attack, and then the plunge attack. Plunge attack with Zionion is very very simple. High plunge, dash, high plunge, dash, spam it, that's all. Charge attacks. Do not hold down your attack button, you don't have to. Start your charge attack, press the map button or the adventure handbook button, and yeah, stuff like that. And then just leave your mouse button and close that window. This way you don't need to hold down the mouse button and instead of being forced out of the charge attack due to its regular duration limitations, this method lets you do the charge attack until your stamina runs out. If you've got red horn then charge attack is better than the normal attack combo and even if you don't, I like to use it more because the damage difference isn't that big and in exchange you get way better control on your AoE because auto targeting engine is shit. We'll just rely on Farina to kill this fuck. Okay, wow, wow! The charge attack combo also generates fanfare faster if you use Noel with Farina and uh... Beyblade. Yeah, that's the last reason. Beyblade. Original music was copyrighted. So, here, enjoy me singing. Beyblade, 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 Beyblade. And it's not worth it. Of course, it has a bit of disadvantages as well. It drains your stamina. You cannot use stuff like Sing Cho Yalan Burst or Yunjin Buff. So you're not the greatest thing, but the Beyblade factor far outweighs these weaknesses, obviously. But I understand if you want to do normal attacks. Now, hard normal attack combos are two types. If you are against multiple enemies, do up to the N3 and then dash. 
This is because the first three strikes have a nice big AoE to hit all the enemies but the last one is kinda slow and also strikes directly in front of you. It does not have much in terms of AoE. I mean you have a long schlong kind of range uh, but yeah avoid the N4 until you face single target enemies. Use N3 dash and depending upon how much ER you have and what geo battery you run you might need to battery once or twice or maybe even thrice. So just swap your battery after the dash, funnel energy and repeat. With a 5 on your battery, support and 130-ish ER on Noel, you don't really need to battery more than twice. But of course, it can increase or decrease depending upon what you're playing, how you're playing and all that good old bullshit. Of course, if you do use 5 like me, you do not need a battery. You are the battery. You can focus on just racking mindless to your heart's content, which is what I do. Is 5 suboptimal? Yes, definitely. But Geo is all about mashing buttons with a monkey brain. If you have to use your brain then that is more suboptimal. Anyway, same thing for the energy in single targets as well. But this time you want to use the N4 and then dash instead of doing an N3 dash. This deep into Timmy's small the video, if you are thinking that, Oh, isn't this the best novel guide I have ever seen? Damn right it is. Oh, and just in case, if you are wondering why the captions, when I said, Oh, isn't this the best Noel guide? Yeah, that dialogue. Then why did the guide word not appear in the captions after the Noel word? Well, that's because I forgot. And, and at the time of recording this, I have chosen to keep this within it, within the video for the meme. So yeah, have fun. Now let's discuss the support playstyle, shall we? So first, the reasons and pros of playing support Noel. And now let's discuss the driver playstyle. So for driver Noel, I discussed the builds already. Basically you have the other three members who work off field doing the main damage in the team and Noel will be a gosh darn tank, making your team unkillable and you'll have an easy time. She's not necessarily the best option in any such teams as a driver, but she's situationally a good flex that is worth using. If you want to play Furina Mono Hydro with a healer, use Spectra Noel, Barbara sucks. Don't say she can revive your dead teammates because Noel will just not let them die at all. Basically, any team that fits this criteria can use Noel as a driver. Let's cover everything about the teams in more detail in the, you know, team sections. Some recommendations for a support Noel that I think are pretty good are Then some recommendations for Driver Noel are firstly the Hyperbloom and Burgeon team. Since both Hyperbloom and Burgeon are primarily a 3 man core, no wait that is sexist, a 3 person core, you have a th free slot. So you are against the Hecken Wolf Lord, their rift rounds in the abyss or maybe you are having a bit of a hard time with the enemy killing you over and over, then Noel is a pretty good option as your flex driver. I really recommend going full defense with 5 again, if you hydro sing Cho, which is sure to be, it's a bloom team for crying out loud and he has the best off field hydro to generate the maximum amount of seeds. I do not know why would you, you would use anybody other than sing Cho. I got distracted, so if you are using him, then Noel shield is already pretty tanky, Noel having high defense means she takes less damage making that shield even more tanky and sing Cho's damage reduction makes the shield even more tanky. Speaking of tanky, the second option is a taser team, especially the one with Singcho and Beidou. So you are even more tanky now because you still have the same things as the Hyperloom and Burgeon, and now you also have Beidou's own damage reduction. Like at that point, uh, please send me a video so you somehow manage to face something in the abyss that can break your shield in the 12 second duration before it expires by itself. Because, because I am not kidding when I say it will be unironically a very very impressive level of skill issue. Like I am talking the levels humanity has not witnessed before. Like even Yamcha would not die with that much damage reduction on a thick shield. Back to the topic. Both of these teams I mentioned make slide shields as well, so forget dying ever again. Recommended to Zyox, he dies in one minute domain. Way too much for it to be a funny meme. For this taser team, 
यू कैन हैव टू इलेक्ट्रो और वन हाइड्रो और वन इलेक्ट्रो टू हाइड्रो I personally like the Furin official Beidou variant a lot because I can also spam charge attack in the team to get the stuff with and with both official in the team and fab on field noel Beidou has no ER issues a very pleasant team to play indeed another recommendation is replacing Furin with Singcho or using official Singcho Yalan official Singcho Furina and all that stuff so just mix and match and enjoy an honorable mention for this team is actually Lisa because you have official in the team, Noel generates a lot of energy from Fav and you get a lot of fanfare buffs. Lisa has defense shred in a kit which increases both official and Furina's damage as well. So she can actually be a fine option in this team without too much of energy problems if you want to play her. Her type of team where Noel is a good driver is a mono hydro team. Especially the one with Furina in it. Noel can drive the team pretty well and consolidate the role of your healer. The team is very very easy to play as well. You can try if you want to. And now we finally get to the juicy Carry Noel. Do not attempt this stunt before C6 Noel. I mean you can but it will not be as good and at the very least have C5 for most of these teams. There is one team you can play without cons but we'll get to that later. The main way to play Noel is by using a triple on mono geo team. If you wanna try these, then C6 Goro is the pretty big upgrade. I wanna say as big as Bennett for Shangling, but that would be inaccurate. However, it is still up there nonetheless in terms of value. Goro acts as your buffer, giving you a sizable defense buff, geo damage bonus, as well as up to 40% crit damage with the C6. Your next slot should be a geo battery. Albedo is pretty much the best character in this slot for now because he can take advantage of Goro's buff to deal a decent amount of off-field damage. And all the energy that he generates is also off field, so you can just keep on fielding Noel and automatically catch the Geo particles he generates. I don't have him, I use Geo Traveler as a battery, you can do it as well, they give you 10% crit rate buff and are pretty much the best Geo battery in the game, short skill cooldown and generate decent amount of energy. Only thing to keep in mind with Geo MC is that their constructs can be hard to play around and aim with, I still consistently screw up with my E placement. I either lift up the enemies or I just completely miss them. There's no in between with me. But it's still nothing you can play around of. And if you get good with the GOMC, you can prevent enemy movement and condition them in an area that you dictate with your skill at burst. And then Noel just has big enough AOA to hit everything in that area, anyways. So it's a good time. But you kinda need to master GOMC for that. Other Geo batteries you can use are Ning Wang and Yun Jin. Ning Wang really does not synergize with the team at all and as for Yun Jin, please don't. She cannot even bring her own burst back from her elemental skill. How do you expect her to perform as a battery? If you are in that kind of situation, I really recommend getting an R5 Favonius and C1 on your Goro and just using that as the battery. That's, that's a lot better than Yun Jin, I, I, I promise. And honestly, I do not like Yunjin as a teammate for Noel because of her energy issues. Despite being in Mono Jiu, I don't know just how much she needs. Even Shangling gets her burst back before she can. And yeah, but that aside, uh, her buff is not that great. Anyways, I like to use charge attack, so yeah. But if you want, you can use her. It's totally fine. Just give her fab lands. If you do not have any other option, she can work as a battery. As for the last slot, you can slot in another Geo unit, so Zhongli or Yunjin, depending upon whichever one you have, something like that. But I would not recommend it. You will gain a lot more in the team if you run triple Geo and put a self-sufficient sub DPS from another element in the last slot. Fischl is a great option, but I personally have always liked Singcho the best because damage reduction and shit ton of crystal eyes, you never die, and he can battery himself with a sacrificial while also dealing pretty good single target damage. Although, now we also have Furina, who is undoubtedly one of Noel's best teammates now. You just get big buffs from a fanfare, and with a fab sword, she won't really struggle with ER. Without Favonius sword, you kinda need like 180-200%, but it's no big deal. Furina does pretty good damage herself, buffs Noel through fanfare and if you have Albedo then he can also further increase his damage 
because he can benefit from Farina's fanfare. I will definitely recommend pairing Farina with your Noel if you want to play carry Noel because she is a very very big upgrade for Noel team. Something I would not recommend is double geo teams. They are not particularly impressive unless you just do not have a good third geo option which is understandable. They release one in two goddamn years and it's not even a legitimate geo unit. I mean sure one is coming up but uh, I'll make another video about that. So if you do have to play Noel Koro double geo teams then the best teammates are same as your fourth slot in a triple geo team. So Fischl, Furina, Yelan, Singcho, just pick two of them now instead of one. You may also go the good old Bennett Changling duo. Good luck meeting ER requirements. And it's not even that great, like at that point, just replace Goro with Sincho and play Driver Noel for National. The best type of double geo team though is with Xianyun Furina. Her buff is good enough that Plunge Spam Noel is very good in single target. And even in multi target where Xianyun's buff is more limiting, it is still on par with the premium triple geo Furina team, the one with C6 Goro and Albedo. It's not quite as good, but it is good enough that I would say it is worth using if you lack the either of the Geo pieces, which is again Albedo and C6 Koro. Energy is very much an issue in this team. Which brings me to this video sponsor, the Favonius Greatsword. Just kidding, I'm too small of a channel to be doing great promotions. This is just free promotional advertising for Favonius Noel. Anyway, if I'm being serious though, because your damage comes from both Noel's own scalings and Xianyun's buff, so the lower offensive stat value from Fab matters even less than usual. Most of Noel's attack is from her defense, so the weapons based attack isn't really that hurtful anyways, and with Xianyun, like I said, it gets even less of a negative. Now of course this goes both ways, so the crit claymores are even better than they usually are, but crit is not ER. You get burst back from ER, not crit. That will be it for my self volunteered fab promotional segment and it also concludes the gist of Noel's teams and stuff. The last one that I wanted to mention you can play without C6 is the wave team with the Xianyun Bennett Furina core. Not really a Noel team but it's good enough. So uh like subscribe I don't know see you next time.